guys, so today's video is going to be a January favorites video. We're just gonna film this video, I swear, if I get interrupted in this video. I don't think I filmed a favorites video in a couple months, and that's because lately I just haven't had anything new, but because um, December was Christmas, I have a lot of new things to talk about, so I'm really excited to film this video. Before we get started, if you like my makeup look, am I uploading this before or after? I think I'm gonna upload this before that video. This look will be up in the next video you see from me, so, um, stay tuned for that, and if you're new here, subscribe so you can check that out. Um, but when it is uploaded, I will link it down below. I'm gonna stop talking, I'm just gonna get... On to this favorites video, and I'm gonna start off with makeup. Why did I put all my products so far away from me? Hold on. The first thing with makeup is the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzing Powder, but this is the color of my skin tone. Right now, I'm the lightest I'll ever be, so I just use it as a face powder. And so it just looks like this. I'm not sure if I mentioned this on my channel before, but I think I've only used it a couple times. It's a really great face powder. It's a matte bronzer. So, um, it sets my face nicely without making it look patchy or anything. Thanks. This is in the shade Matte Light. Next, I have this palette that I got for Christmas, and this is the Park Avenue Princess Tarte Palette, and this is called the Contour Palette Volume 2. I said palette, like, so many times. Oh my god, I'm in love. Okay, so it comes with the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, the Glisten Amazonian Clay Blush, and then the Champagne Highlight. I used this bronzer halfway through the month, and then I just stopped using bronzer. I don't know why, I just was like, eh, I'm not gonna use bronzer. But it, it's the greatest bronzer I think I've ever tried. It's my first ever high-end bronzer, and I really, really like it. It's matte, and it just goes on so smoothly. And then the blush I've been using basically every day. It's just this shimmery, pinkish tone. So pretty. And then the highlight. <sighs> the highlight. Oh my god, this is so pretty. It's like this goldeny, pale sort of highlight. It just glistens on your cheeks. I'm wearing the blush and the highlight on my cheek today and I just am in love and so I'll give you guys a little swatch. This is the blush that's the bronzer and then the highlight is on the top and you get to see like how pretty they are. For eyes, so basically this palette I've been using a lot and this is the Stila in the Light eyeshadow palette. Me and my mom like to share makeup. That's just what we do. We share makeup with each other because normally my mom steals it from me, but like I'm just like, you know, whatever, take it. So originally this was like my palette. This was my first ever high-end palette, but then my mom took it. So that is why a lot of these shades have hit pan, but I stole it back and I've been using the shade Bear all over my lids, then taking the shade Bliss, which is a medium toe brown in my crease, and then taking Kitten and Bubbly and mixing them and putting them on my lid. And it's just a great everyday palette. You guys all know what Kitten looks like, so I'm not going to swatch that, but I'll swatch Bliss and I'll swatch Bubbly. You can't really see Bliss that much, but it's just a perfect um, crease shade, and then that's Bubbly. Look at how like, look at how glistening! oh my god. And then for lips, you might be a little bit confused because two of the products I don't love, but I love the combination of all three of these. The one product that I love, and you guys know I talk about all the time, is the Bite Beauty Lipstick in Shiraz. It's just a gorgeous, plummy, kind of like Kylie Jenner lip. I don't like to say Kylie Jenner lip because, like, she didn't invent this lip color. She just wears it a lot. So, I'm not going to call it that. I'm just going to call it that, like, browny, plummy nude. But it's kind of a darker version of that. And it has, like, like that was the worst part to swatch on my hand. It has kind of, like, purple undertones. It kind of looks like my shirt, but it doesn't look like that in person. It's more, like, browny. I've been mixing it with MAC Cream Cup, which I do not like the formula of. I think it's because I've had this for so long. I've been trying to use this up before it gets old. But um, it just doesn't look good on my lips. But this combination looks so good. I get so many compliments on my lip color when I wear these two together. And then to top it all off, I wear the NYX Butter Gloss in Meringue. And I actually do not like the formula of these. These are literally the worst way to swatch. Like, Julia, what? 
Um, but yeah, that's all three of them. And all together, this is what they look like. It's on my lips today. I just like the combination. I just don't like the MAC lipstick and the um, butter gloss alone. Change the battery pack. I will, okay? Calm down. Okay, so that's it for makeup items. Next, I have a perfume, and this is the Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture Rollerball. This just smells so good. It's so sweet, but like, camera died while I was talking. So I think I was talking about this perfume, um, but I don't really remember because it's been like 45 minutes. I've been editing a video during that time, so I don't exactly remember where I left off, but I hope it was here. So I think what I was saying was this is really sweet, but at the same time, it's mature. I completely forgot a makeup product. This is from Kat Von D, and this is the Ink Liner. It's a waterproof liquid eyeliner in Trooper. This thing is waterproof and it stays on so long because I was wearing it yesterday and I fell asleep with my makeup on, which is really bad, but I did. And I woke up and my wings were still on fleek. So it's really black and it's matte and you can get it thin, you can get it thick. And it's just the perfect eyeliner. I absolutely love this and I'm so glad that I decided to purchase this one. The next thing I've been loving is this um, hair curler that I got from my brother for Christmas. This is the Remington curling wand. I'm not exactly sure the, the size of the barrel. It gets super hot like I burnt my fingers a couple times but um, I've just been loving trying out curls with my hair because normally um, I don't curl my hair, I just leave it how it is. And if there's like a wonky piece, I just gotta leave it. But now that I have this, I could just fix that up and then we're good to go. I have a candle that I got from Laura um, for Christmas and this is the Mahogany Teakwood candle from Bath & Body Works or White Barn. They're kind of like the same brand. <sighs> you guys know what this smells like. It smells like a boy, it smells so good. For jewelry favorites, if you watched my vlogs, I've talked about this necklace a lot. It's from Forever 21 and it's just this silver necklace with like these little um, crystals. What do you call this? Jewels on the side. It's super dainty and it looks really cute with any outfit. I would actually wear this today. So <sighs> lastly for music favorites. Okay. If you haven't heard Kid Ink's new album, girl, where are you? I've been listening to it ever since it came out. Renee told me it came out. I had no idea it did, but it came out January 1st. And ever since that day, I bought it. I've been listening to it. It's only like eight bucks. Next one is uh, That's On You, and I actually played this in, in the beginning of one of my videos. And there's one called Time Out. Let's pick one more. Oh, I should probably tell you the name of it first. <laughs> um, Summer in the Winter, Feet Marion. And the first one that I played was Feet Fetty Wop. So, just letting you know. I think that's basically it for music. I mean, there's a couple more because I'm in love with music, but I'm just not going to mention them all because the video will be way too long. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Think I might have missed something. All the messages that I